Hi, my name's Brendan. We farm at Tolga at south of Coolan. We moved here in 1977 from Williams and have enjoyed working with the livestock predominantly in the last few years, trying to turn the farm around from a predominantly cropping operation. 15 to 17 years ago, as we were progressing down the fully conventional track, we just found that we were having to put use more and more synthetic fertilisers which wasn't a problem, but I just thought we'd just investigate different ways of doing things. Over the past 15 to 16 years, the, the farm has, has got to the point where we can grow most crops on our home farm with sub 10 units of nitrogen and, and lower levels required of P and K with recycling nutrition using different plants and cropping rotations. I just like a challenge and I like, like to do things a little bit differently. There's nothing in the science, nothing about the science of it that says we're doing anything wrong. In fact, the science probably backs us up. So the hard bit is to turn that science into something that, that it works in a low rainfall, poor soils environment. And, and that, that's probably been the challenge. And the biggest thing we've picked up in the last few years is well integrated livestock and, um, and legume based pastures is giving us very good rewards with less risk just doing less damage to the natural environment. So trying to avoid fungicides and, and insecticides. That's not to say we don't use them. You know, if they're necessary, we use them. There are occasions when you do have, you still have to use it. It's a last resort rather than just being a, you know, a blanket operation. Nothing wrong with making a mistake. You just gotta um, try not to make it twice. And experimenting keeps you interested. A bit boring doing the same thing every day. And that's the great thing about ag these days. In the old days, everyone did the same thing on the same day. Now you wouldn't know what anyone's doing. You know, we're all doing things differently and having a crack. And, and hopefully, if people share their ideas, you know, you just wanna find out what's working well. Success for us has, has just been trying to improve the soil, trying to take the risk out of the business, having bank managers that don't worry about coming and seeing you because they know that you're not over committed on inputs. That's the challenge to, to you know, when you buy land, you want to you want to try and try and get it all Mickey Mouse. The tide has turned slowly, and and I think even most conventional guys know now that they don't have to do don't have to smash huge amounts of fertiliser on. If you can get a decent legume into the rotation and a bit more careful management, you can, you can grow a crop with a lot less than what some of the ag agronomists say that you need to use. If the system we were using was gonna break down, it would have broken down on the home farm years ago and, and the home farm continues to just get better and better because of the way it's conservatively managed. <laughs>